Okay. Um, there are three types of backswings in tennis, whether it's a forehand or a backhand. And there it starts off with, there's a Boston backswing, there's a New York backswing, and there's a Miami backswing. And depending upon how fast the ball is, determines what type of backswing you're gonna use. So, meaning, if the ball is hit slow and I can read it and I have plenty of time, I'm gonna bring my racket all the way back and I'm gonna put it in the Miami position. That way I take a full swing. If the ball is very, very deep, it's bouncing back at the baseline, I'm gonna use a New York backswing. If I'm volleying the ball, which means I'm taking the ball in the air or I'm short hopping it, I'll use a Boston backswing. And you would do that on the backhand as well as the forehand. The forehand and the backhand ground strokes mirror each other so that you hit them the same way, a little differently, but at least the back swings are the same. The way you get your power in tennis is by catching the ball on the rise, meaning as the ball hit, comes down, hits the court and comes up, as it gets higher, it loses power. So that if I catch the ball down here, I will be using the, the energy of the ball or my opponent's power that they just put on the ball. Plus, I'm using my own power and strength, and that way I have double power instead of just generating my own power. The other thing where you get power from your shots is the torque of your hips and your shoulders. So as your racket leads your body, and as you hit, you rotate your hips, and your shoulders, and that gives you more power. But as the ball comes up here, and the ball doesn't have any pace on it, I have to generate all my own power and energy. When I catch the ball down low, I don't have to hit as hard or put in as much power um, or my own strength. Um, so, so it really doesn't matter if I take a full swing or a half swing, I can pretty much generate as much power if you catch the ball on the rise, which is catching it as it's coming off the court.